Hi oh, guys, shall we look at some reactions of metals with acids? Let's go for it. First though, we need some safety equipment. Whoa! And don't forget the glasses. Right, so we need to look at making hydrogen. Now when you m react a metal with an acid, it makes hydrogen. So we've got hydrochloric acid here. This is particularly uh, nasty stuff, so we need to be very careful with it. Um, so we're gonna take a, a test tube and we're gonna add some metal to it. Okay, the metal that we've got is magnesium. Let me get a bit closer. It's a typical metal, it's shiny, it's bendy, but it's quite reactive. Okay, magnesium is the second element down in column two of the periodic table. Right, so let's see what happens when we put magnesium into hydrochloric acid. I've got some hydrochloric acid here, I've got some magnesium, let's take a look. In it goes, and you can see it starts to effervesce, and you can, might be able to make out some um, gas being given off. It's fizzing quite vigorously now. Okay, so not only did that uh, magnesium fizz, it got really, really hot very, very quickly. So there's quite an aggressive reaction going on. Um, but there was, as you can see, there was a gas being given off. The question is, what was that gas? Well, we can test it to see. So let, we need to collect some first. We need to do the reaction again. So let's see what happens. And I'll put the Bunsen on. Okay, Bunsen burner on. There you go. Right, so we need to do the reaction again. But this time, we need to try and collect the gas that's given off. Now, I think it's hydrogen. and Hydrogen is lighter than air. So I can place a test tube over the top of it and it will fly up into it. Let's have a go. So it's starting to bubble. Let's put the test tube over the top. And we'll keep it there for a little bit. Hopefully any of the gas being given off is going up into the other test tube. But the way that we test it is that we're going to put a lit splint into the gas that's been produced. And we'll see what the reaction is. Okay, we can take it off by placing our thumb over it. Hopefully that gas is in there now. Let's take a lint, lighter splint. Let's see what happens, here we go. Woo! And it's called the squeaky pop. It's called the squeaky pop for good reason, because it makes a big pop. So we know that was hydrogen. Shall I do it again? I'll do it again, but closer. Okay, time for Mr. T's top tip. The equation for metals and acids always follows the same pattern each time. Metal added to an acid becomes a metal salt and hydrogen gas. Interested in more scientific resources? Why not check out more of our videos like below? And if you really found this video entertaining, why not like and subscribe and we'll keep the Cyber Teachers content coming.